Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. If you have unlocked and rooted your HTC One and you wish to relock and unroot the phone, this video is for you. Maybe you're just tired of this whole rooting and unlocking game and want to go back to the good old days of being a good citizen and restore your HTC One to the first day when you actually bought the device from a store. This will also reinstate your phone's warranty which you lost when you rooted the phone. So the, to accomplish the process, you will need to download two files. So let's head on over to my website, SakiTechOnline.com, and grab the two files you need to download. Now before we get those two files though, I want you to take a look at this. I am turning off my phone, and I'm going to boot into uh, the bootloader mode. Now, when you look at the phone carefully on the top, you'll say you'll see that it says tampered and unlocked. So both of those two things are going to disappear once we're done with this process. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and download the two files that we need. I want you to go to my website, sakitechonline.com, and then I want you to click downloads. From here, the first thing I want you to download is the first link up here that says ADT Bundle for Windows, which is right here. So start start downloading this one. I'm going to show you why you need this one um, in a second. Number two, go back to my website and click the one that says HTC One R U U Files, and that's going to take you to this website. Now basically what RUU files are, they stand for ROM Update Utility. It's an executable file that installs a ROM on your device. In this case, it will install the stock ROM with HTC Sense that your phone came with the day you purchased your phone. Now when you're on this website, you need to carefully scrutinize all these links because one of them belongs to your phone. Now, in my case, I have an AT&T phone. So when I look here carefully, I see a singular RUU. So this is the one I'm going to be downloading. Okay, so just click that and click download. Now, if you have, if you're in Europe or Asia, or um, if, you are, if you're going through the Brightstar US, in other words, if you have the developer edition HTC, this is what you want to do. Go ahead and download. Okay. Now, I, as I said, I have AT&T, so I'm going to download the one that says Singular, which used to be AT&T back in the days. So download this file, and then go to this website and download the ADT bundle for Windows. And now I'm going to switch back over to my HTC One, and then we're going to put the HTC One in fast boot mode and we're going to come back to computer and finish the process. Okay, so you can go ahead and you can connect your micro USB cable to your phone and your phone to your computer and then shut off the phone, power it off, and we're going to go into the bootloader mode first. So volume down and power at the same time for a couple seconds. Bam. We're in the boot loader mode. After here, what we want to do is we want to go to fast boot mode, which is the the blue highlight. So to go into the mode, to select the mode, you will use volume up and down. Okay. To select the mode, you press power. So if I press power here, it's going to go into fast boot mode, and you can see the red highlight. Okay. So now you can actually leave your phone alone we're going to come back right back to the computer. Okay, so once you have downloaded all the files that you need to download and you have put your phone into fast boot mode, let's go and do what we have to do. So this is my downloads folder. This is the RUU file that we just downloaded and this is the ADT bundle that we downloaded. So go into ADT bundle, keep digging in, go to SDK platform tools and here you'll see fast boot and that's what we need so what I want you to do here is bring your mouse to a white area here press shift and hold it on your keyboard 
and right click and then click open command window here okay and then once you do that just to verify that your phone is in fact connected to your computer and the fast boot mode is active you can type in fast boot devices and you'll get a tiny little response right here some random numbers and it says fast boot that's good news that means your phone is in fact connected to your computer the next step is to actually lock your bootloader using this command window so in the beginning we unlocked our bootloader and we rooted our phone and all that jazz now we have to lock the bootloader before we can run the RUU file so to lock it just type in fast boot OEM space lock after you do this click enter as soon as you click enter your phone is gonna restart now I'm not gonna click enter here because I don't need to um, bring my phone back to the factory settings but after after this this is a very simple process so like I said you type this in and you press enter once you press enter your phone is going to reboot after the reboot process is complete on your phone shut off your phone and go back into the fast boot mode like I showed you before and then keep your phone in fast boot mode okay and uh, let me just clear this once you once you go back into fast boot mode you can do fast boot devices one more time just to make sure that your phone is in fact connected to your computer and it's communicating now after you do that you get out of this command screen you go back to downloads and you click RUU executable file once you click this thing you're gonna see the setup screen popping up and this is what you will see okay and just click this tick mark and then click next and the whole process is going to start there's nothing else you have to do from this point on forward just remember before you run the RUU file you have to relock your bootloader to relock your bootloader you just go to that command window I just showed you and type in fast boot space OEM space lock and then your phone reboots you put your phone back into fast boot mode then you come back here and you run this ROM update utility and you click next and you'll be done that's all there is to it it's gonna take a while this is a big file but uh, th there's nothing else you have to do so that's all if you have any questions put them down in the comments section or on my website and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you can also go to my website and under the menu HTC unlock and root which is right here you can find all my videos on routing and unlocking your HTC One device.